In an emotional testimony on Thursday, U.S. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez led fellow Democrats in recalling their traumatizing experiences of the deadly Capitol riots on January 6th. Speaking on the House floor, she doubled down on calls for Republican politicians, including her own colleagues, to be held accountable for the attack. Less than 29 days later, with little to no accountability for the bloodshed and trauma of the 6th, some are already demanding that we move on, or worse, attempting to minimize, discredit, or belittle the accounts of survivors. Representative Dean Phillips of Minnesota said, out of fear for their safety that day, he had screamed to his colleagues to follow him to the Republican side of the floor. For I felt that the insurrectionists who were trying to break down the doors right here would spare us if they simply mistook us for Republicans. But within moments, I recognized that blending in was not an option available to my colleagues of color. So I'm here tonight to say to my brothers and sisters in Congress and all around our country, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For I had never understood, really understood, what privilege really means. Representative Rashida Tlaib of Michigan, who is a Muslim, recounted how the riots reminded her of death threats she received on her very first day as a congresswoman. I didn't even get sworn in yet when someone wanted me dead for just existing. More came later, uglier, more violent. One celebrating and writing the New Zealand massacre and hoping that more would come. Another mentioning my dear son, Adam. <laughs> and so I urge my colleagues to please, please take what happened on January 6th seriously. It will lead to more death and we can do better. We must do better. No Republicans participated in Thursday's testimonies, which came shortly after the House voted to remove controversial lawmaker Marjorie Taylor Greene from two high-profile committees. Greene, a Republican, has come under fire for her history of inflammatory remarks, including supporting violence against Democrats.